of a little bit messed up up here. On Thursday night, I wanted to say it was Friday night. Last night, I wanted to say it was Saturday night. You know what? It's a good thing Saturday night's here. I don't know if I can make it through a Sunday night. Y'all have a great fair here, and it's been a good time for me to be here. Me and my wife, we've loved every single minute of it. In fact, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? It's good to be back out in public again. To rub shoulders with everybody, our family, our friends, our community members, and that's what we've done here. In fact, your fair board deserves a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for going through with the county fair this year. If you would, give them a big round of applause right now. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I talked about the sponsors, the little ones with the banners all around the arena, and we're going to thank them as well as we go out through the evening. But I hope again you'll make a mental note of who they are, and if you have the opportunity to do so, I hope you'll tell them thank you for their sponsorship. Even better yet, make a point to patronize this business or these businesses, because you know what? It's businesses like these that sponsor events like these that brings communities together. Those communities are the communities that are the most progressive, the most vibrant communities in the United States. And I'll tell you what, right now we can definitely use some vibrant communities. Ladies and gentlemen, there's just a little bit of background information that I need to tell you. From the rodeo announcer's standpoint, my job is to paint a picture to all you folks out there in the stands what is going on. Well, this rodeo is sanctioned by the Rocky Mountain Professional Rodeo Association, and their season ends the last day of September. And what that means, there's only, well, there's less than a handful. In fact, I think there's only three sanctioned more rodeos in the RMPRA. The Cowboys that you're going to watch tonight, the Cowgirls that you're going to watch tonight, they are going to be doing their best to bump their way up into the top 12 according to money earned because those top 12 in each event get invited to the finals, which will happen in November in Kanab, Utah. And that's where the buckles are won. That's where the saddles are won. And most importantly, that is where the bragging rights are won. So ladies and gentlemen, what you're gonna watch tonight, it should be an awesome show. Y'all picked an awesome night to be here. The weather's good. Ladies and gentlemen, it all begins in moments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we spent the better part of two years separated. No social gatherings at all. What do you say, Zappi County, that tonight we make social gatherings cool again with a little bit of rodeo? Zappi, are you ready for rodeo? the Broken Heart Rodeo Company, Zappi County, the Zappi County Fair Board. Welcome to the 2021 Zappi County Fair Rodeo. One more time, Zappi County. Tell me what you think of this Saturday night. We've talked about our rodeo sponsors. And as they come in, ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. They are Central Valley Medical Center, also Sandbar Ranch. They've got a production sale coming up here in about a month in the Contoy Arena. Don't forget about Swift, Swift Construction and CO Builders as well. Another longtime sponsor is Statewide Fund Funding. And we want to thank Gunnison Valley Medical Center. That's a business we hope we don't need, but you know what? If we need them, they're there. We want to thank Gunnison Valley Medical Center. Also, Redmond Mineral, Emerson Spill. A new sponsor this year is V.B. Also, Tom Dykes Insurance and Realty. And another new sponsor for B5, Town and Country Mortgage. And we're honored to have with us tonight Young Living Farm. They're going to be part of our opening tonight. It's also an act. And ladies and gentlemen, the Jumbotron brought to you this year by Cowboy Fancy. If you would, give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, because we sure appreciate everything these businesses do for us. You look over here at our shoot gates. We have sponsors for them as well, Christian's and Ready Mix, 
A Plus Electric, Sampee County Farm Bureau, also I4 Media, Jones and DeMille Engineering, and Dale Cox Contract. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce to you the two people that make this all possible. They are your chairman of the fair. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome to Mike and Amanda Bennett. We want to thank all the fair board members, all the volunteers. It's a volunteer job. No pain happens at all for these guys. It's all volunteer. And also, see that lady in that chariot right there in that wagon? We owe her a big round of applause, too, because you know what? I'm pretty sure she does most of the work. That's Amanda Bennett. Ladies and gentlemen, our fair chair. We got another good looking red wagon coming in, and that red wagon is your county commissioner, Mr. Star Scott Bartholomew, Edward Sutherland, and Reed Hatch. You know, they've been under a lot of stress. I hate to be in political office the last two years, but you know what? These people have been handling it with grace. We want to thank our county commissioners. Also, coming in is a white truck over there. It's our Miss Tank in County 2021 and 2022. That's your queen, Ashton Child. She's from Centerfield. Also first runner-up, Hope Marcy from Manti. They have their junior court with them as well. And coming in right behind them is our Miss Sampy County Outstanding Teams 2021. Show them a little hospitality as they come in, ladies and gentlemen. Your queen is Wakely Brotherson of Wales. First runner-up, Allie Haston Sterling. And second runner-up, Madison Shelley of Mount Pleasant. Oh, hold on, girls. These next young ladies that I'm going to introduce to you, they are your rodeo queen. They got the job through competition and horsemanship, knowledge, public speaking, also poise and modeling. They are your rodeo royalty. We're gonna start with our St. Pete County Fair. Sweetheart, it is Sarah Everett from Ephra. Also put your hands together with St. Pete County Fair Junior Princess, Kensley Kelso from Mount Pleasant. Her first attendant, Brianna Brotherson, also in Mount Pleasant. And her second attendant, Caitlin Tallred from Spring City, Utah. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the ladies that are going to be representing the San Pete County Fair Rodeo throughout the state for the next year. Give them a big round of applause. They're going to be well represented. We've also got some visiting royalty with us. Our Fairview Fair Pioneer Day, held over the 24th of July, is Queen Jane Shepherd. Our first attendant, Bailey Jakes, and second attendant, Taylor Emmerich. The Linden Rodeo Queen, second attendant, is also in the house. Her name is Aubrey Christensen. Welcome to you, Stampede Queen Amanda Malstra. And your Janola Days Queen, Katie Agar. What do you say, Stampede County? Show them a little bit of hospitality on a Saturday night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to 
since 1949, 70 years ago, the local cattlemen have got together and they want to recognize one man each and every year or woman, as the case may be. For those that have made a contribution, a significant contribution to the welfare of agriculture in San Pete County. We've got a few of them with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that I want to introduce to you. First of all, King Cowboy 1996, Bryce Jackson. From 2014, Jarvis Sorensen. And he's leading a horse in memory of Bryce Roberts, who passed away recently. Right behind him, King Cowboy 2015, Joe Frischnick. From 2016, Mr. Scott Terry. And 2017's Lee Sorensen. And he's bringing a horse in in honor of Grover Childs. 1998, I do believe. And 2019 King Cowboy with Terry Rigby. You look out there, there's a lot of history, a lot of knowledge in them hat cowboy hats out there on that arena floor. We hate to lose them. But I'll tell you what, folks, you have the opportunity to visit with any one of these men. I hope you'll do so. You'll learn a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 King Cowboy, Doug Wilder. Gerald Douglas Wilder, known as Doug to most, was born in Gunnison Valley Hospital on November 21, 1950 to Gerald and Beth Ann Wilder. He attended school in Sparks, Nevada and completed one year at the University of Nevada, Reno. From 1963 to 66, Doug spent summers with his grandparents and Uncle Glenn Whitlock, helping them with their farm and cattle operation, and then spent the summers of 67 and 68 working for Winch Livestock on the Wawa Ranch in western Utah. With this experience under his belt, in 1973, his grandfather Ken Whitlock asked Doug if he would be interested in running the family farm in Mayfield. Doug accepted the challenge and has been operating it for the past 48 years. Doug currently farms 350 acres of cropland and has a herd of 160 mother cows. Doug has served as president of the Mayfield Gunnison Cattle Association for approximately 20 years, president of the Mayfield Irrigation Company for three years, where he assisted in the development and installation of the Gravity Flow Irrigation System. He also served on the Mayfield Irrigation Company board and as water master for 30 years as well as on the Farmers Home Administration County Board. Serving others has always been a big part of Doug's life. He has always been actively involved in community service for the town of Mayfield and also the Mayfield Young Men's and Scouting Programs for which he received Scouting Silver Beaver Award for his service. At the age of 70, Doug still works from dawn to dusk and sometimes later and loves watching the sun rise on the calm mornings at the farm, assisting newborn baby calves as they take their first steps and being on horseback herding cattle. He enjoys spending time with his three children, G.J., Garrick, and Felicia and their spouses, as well as his ten grandchildren. Ladies and gentlemen, 2021 King Cowboy, Doug Wilder. What do you say in the ground, folks? There's countless hours, countless sleepless nights that go in and get to put in a rodeo, especially a quality rodeo like you all have here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you three guys, well, two guys and a lady that's responsible for this. Ladies and gentlemen, your rodeo chairman, Dale Jensen, Chris Olson. And up here in the announcer stand with me, the one that does it all, Jill Bird. Folks, for those 
those of you in the main grandstand, you may not quite be able to see this. But for you over here next to me, you can. Across the arena there are 13 American flags hanging on the fence. And you look up above me here and we've brought the flag down to half staff. Ladies and gentlemen, the fair requested tonight that we have a moment of silence for our young men and women in Kabul who we lost recently, 13 of them. And those flags represent them and we want them to know if they can hear us that they're here with us. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, 2020 has reaffirmed one thing for me, and that is the power of prayer. So I make it a habit of starting each and every rodeo performance with a word of prayer. If you would, please join me. Our Heavenly Father, we meet here tonight under gorgeous skies between beautiful mountains in a beautiful valley. And we realize, Lord, that we have freedoms that no other nation in the world has. And we know it's by your design inspiration that we have these freedoms and the thousands of men and women who have fought, who have sacrificed so much to protect these freedoms. You know, Lord, we know the world's in a mess right now and we know our country's in a mess. We want to ask you, Lord, that You'll protect those that are fighting. And you'll take our leaders by the hand and point them in the direction that this nation needs to go. Lord, we know rodeo's a rough old sport. We don't ask for any special favors in the arena tonight. Only that your protective hands will be with us and our partners to livestock. That we'll be able to perform tonight in this arena and more importantly in life's arena as you have for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, as we excuse the horses and riders out of the arena, would you please give them all a big round of applause. of the Jumbotron. We got down at the end of the arena. I hope you'll all enjoy that tonight. Kind of run down, he said. Oh, it'll do for our little town. 
I said your old flag pole is lean a little bit, and that's a ragged old flag you got hanging on it. He said, have a seat. And I said, out. Is this the first time you've been to our little town? I said, I think it is. He said, I don't like to brag, but we're kind of proud of that ragged old flag. You see, we got a little hole in that flag there when Washington took it across the Delaware. And it got powder burned the night that Francis Scott Key said, watching it right and say, can you see? And it got a bad rip in New Orleans. Packingham and Jackson tugging at its seams. And it almost fell at the Alamo beside the Texas flag, but she waved on the ball. She got cut with a sword at Chancellorsville, and she got cut again at Shiloh Hill. There was Robert E. Lee, Beauregard, and Bragg, and the south wind blew hard on that ragged old flag. On Flanders Field in World War I, she got a big hole from a Bertha gun. She turned blood red in World War II. She hung limp and low a time or two. She was in Korea, Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. She waved from our ships upon the briny foam, and now they've about quit waving back here at home. In her own good land here, she's been abused. She's been burned, dishonored, denied, refused, and the government for which she stands is scandalized throughout the land. And she's getting threadbare and she's wearing thin, but she's in good shape for the shape she's in. Because she's been through the fire before, and I believe she can take a whole lot more. So we raise her up every morning, we take her down every night, we don't let her touch the ground and we fold her up right. On second thought, I do like to brag because I'm mighty proud of that. That good looking Parisian stallion brought to us by Felix Santana and Young Living, Essential Oil. You know, just when you think that nothing could be grander and more magnificent than old glory brought in on horseback, Felix Santana and that Parisian steps it up just one more notch. And if you're like me, ladies and gentlemen, it stirs some pretty deep emotions of what I think most of us has felt over the last six months. The ragged old flag paints a picture of what old glory stands for to all of us, and it isn't what we have seen in our nation recently. Tonight, we have lowered the flag posted above me to half-mast in honor of those 13 American soldiers recently killed in Kabul while our so-called leaders in D.C. hide and the safety of their basements. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a message for them tonight. First to all veterans, young and old, and especially those who served in Iran, Iraq, and Afghanistan. I want to thank you for your service. And to those in D.C. and their more vocal puppets, hear this. We will not stand by and we will not watch as we tear down our Constitution take away our personal freedoms and sacrifice the lives of our fellow Americans. Zappi County, are you with me tonight in telling freedom's enemies, both foreign and domestic, Ladies and gentlemen, in rodeo, we stand for the national anthem and remove cover. So if you haven't already done so, please stand and remove cover now.
as we sing the national anthem is presented by Hope Marcy. Sheets and we're going to end the night with everybody's favorite event and it is called Bull Ride. Yay! Holy cow, I got you loud up here. How you sounding down there, buddy? Probably playing loud. That's what you like, ain't it? It's Saturday, it's time to get loud. Oh yeah. You guys ready for the Bull Ride? Come on! Yay! All right, here we go. We're going to start shoot number three in the I-4 media shoot with a cowboy by the name of Jackson Lish, Tremont, Utah. Sniper is the name of the bull. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's the rules. If you're not familiar with bull riding, the cowboy's got to ride for eight seconds, one hand in the bull rope, one hand in the air. Come on, they're parking. Remember that eight second thing? Well, he didn't make it. It's going to be a no score. No score for Jackson Lish. Ladies and gentlemen, there's three guys out there in the arena that I need to introduce to you right now. First of all, from Plain City, Utah, multi-time RMPRA Bullfighter of the Year. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Chase Wilson. That's a man by his side from Midway, Utah, Rowdy the Young. And the man in the can out here. His name is Sean Stutzman. We call him Stutzy. From Stablehurst, Nebraska, 27 times Barrel Man of the Year in 15 different rodeo associations. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big warm welcome. I think you're good, you That was Ryder Coates right there. And a move by the name of Norman. Oh, 
All right, let's go on up the line to Dale Cox contracting. Shirt number one is where that is. Connor Ekstrom is the cowboy. Bluffdale, Utah is where he calls home. Now, right now, from Thursday night, no qualified rides in the bull ride. So that means there's a lot of money left out there on the arena floor to make. Where? To bump a guy up into the top 12. In fact, Sean, really what that means, if we had only one qualified ride tonight, that could put him in the top 12 pretty easily with all that money. About $3,000 is what the Cowboy can walk away with. So ladies and gentlemen, the more noise, the more energy you make, the better off these Cowboys will feel, they'll ride, the better off the Bulls will buy. All right, Connor Extra, let's do this. Come on, let's ride, help! There you go, you bucked him off a while ago. Get out of here. We're going to go back to shoot number two, the Jones and DeMille Engineering shoot to a cowboy from St. George, Utah. No, we're going over there now. We're going over here? Far beer up. No, from there. All right, I'll take your word on it. Well, he's the only one getting ready. Yeah, that's right. I got our soft getting the rope ready over here. Maybe he's just excited. A Southern Utah Cowboy, St. George to be exact. And his name's Pokey Hope. And a bull by the name of Bad Moon Rising. You watch this cowboy. He's an up and coming young star right here. In fact, he's won a lot of money. It's pretty safe that he is in the top 12 right now. But he'd still like to win a little money, give him a little extra advantage when he goes to the finals in November in Kanab, Utah. All right, Pokey. Sampy Farm, Sampy County Farm Bureau is the shoes we're coming out of. Jack 
shot is the name of the move. Number six of the Utah High School Rodeo standings in 2021. Let me tell you about this cowboy. This is how confident he is. He went into the finals of the Utah High School Rodeo Association, the number eight man. But he ended up being the only bull rider in the finals to ride all three of his bulls, and he won the short round of Anza Asri. I'll tell you what. This guy's got talent. All right, Cooper. His daddy's the brand inspector as well. Bull, hey, bullfighter. The one the AU. That's going to be like the coolest TikTok video ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just play the theme from Brokeback Mountain. Oh, man. I won't ever quit you. <laughs> All right, Cooper. Cooper's the man to watch. Christian's and ready mix is the shoot you want to watch. You know what? I think I forgot to tell the rules for the audience out there. See this guy right down here in the blue shirt, straw hat, he's got a roll in his hand. When he pulls it, just turns the screen in the air and makes the move! Ladies and gentlemen, watch up at the big screen up there. As they do the re replay, he nods his head, he comes out, he sits pretty good, but watch him about part way through the ride, he gets off to the side a little bit. Loses his balance and off he goes. Right about here. That bull bucks. Yeah, he bucks. He bucks. Oh. What do you say? Ladies and gentlemen, show the cowboy a little love from the stand. Let's go to the I-4 media shoot. To a Spanish Ford cowboy, home of the BS Today's Rodeo, to Raspi Hansen. Hey, Jill. You around? Still no qualified rides. Bulls are winning this deal. You know, I heard if they bucked everybody off today, you had to get on one. Oh, really? You oh, heard that wrong. Is, that is what I heard. I heard it was you. Oh, I'll get on one for three grand. I for three grand? In, <laughs> in my tennis shoes. In your tennis shoes? Here we go. Come on. And there we win. Oh yeah. They're buggy. I think maybe Rusty knocked just a little bit snoopy well, right think, there. I'm pretty sure bull riders came in loopy. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be one and I'm still loopy. And you're still loopy? I think you're born loopy if you want to do it. That may explain the hat and the outfit. No, this, this is a hot outfit. This is a hot outfit. You got like this look or what? <laughs> All right, yeah. all right, I guess I'm going to have to step my game up. This will give me notice uptown. Yeah, it will. Actually, downtown. Uptown, downtown. It worked. Let's go to the Jones and DeMille shoes to Daxton Preston, to Willie, Utah. This whole town. And the Bull Abbey. Remember I said we were going to start the rodeo with bull ride, we're going to end with bull ride. So the show ain't over till the last bull is bucked. And you don't want to miss the last nine or ten of them. Here we go, come on, Daxton! Not going to happen for Daxton Preston tonight. No score. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? I say give all the Cowboys a big hug, and how about a big round of applause for that boom?
So, no qualified rides in the bull ride. In the first section of bulls, but we've got one more set of bulls to go. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back down to the timed event end of the arena for the event that I call the Ranchers event of Rodeo. It's called tie-down roping. Let me do a little explaining. Imagine yourself, you're a rancher, and you're up here on the mountain. You've got a herd of cows with baby calves inside, and you're going up to check them just you and then your horse back. Not a grill around for miles. And you come across the calf a little sick. You got to doctor the calf because of two reasons. One, it's the welfare of your family. And number two, it's just a humane thing to do. So how are you going to do it? Well, on horseback, you're going to chase the calf down. You're going to rope the calf, belly up in your saddle horn, jump off the horse, run down the rope, gather up three legs and tie them off with what we call a picket string. At that point, you go back to your saddlebag, do whatever you might want. Talk to the calf and be on your way. I just drive a four-wheeler and shoot him with a dart gun. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got quite the cowboy to start it out with tonight. His name is Land Howe, Plain City, Utah. And I'll tell you what, this is a man with a life well being. He's been to Russia to teach cowboys how to roll and how to do embryo transplanted registered Angus cattle. He's also helped set up a bison ranch in Wyoming. Oh, but now living in St. George Golf, but you should have called him today, Steph. Now right now, we've got a 7 and 9 at the top of the lead, leaderboard, Travis Warper, go flat, on Thursday night. Now that calf's got to lay for six seconds. It looks like our judge calls it good. You know what I said? We had a seven and nine at the top of the leaderboard. Not anymore. What do you think about a seven and eight? Yeah. Well, that guy nodded his head, chased the calf down the arena, threw a loop, caught the calf, jumped off his horse, ran up the calf, picked the calf up, threw the calf down, tied three legs in seven seconds. Yes, sir. 7.8 seconds to be exact. Took that bullfighter 40 seconds on high. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they are bullfighters. All right, let's go to Dorian Bundy, Washington, Utah. The world, the rodeo world is a lot about family, ladies and gentlemen. Here, right here is the first of some family that we're going to watch. We're going to watch his wife later on at the barrel racing. Come on, Dorian. Let's ride. There you go. Yep, and it's done. He wants that field judge, he's got a shooting at food. And the stopwatch in hand. He'll signal to our bullfighters to tie him. And it is at 12 and 3. 12 and 3. Let's go to a man from Huntington, Utah. Two time Ram National Circuit Finals qualifier, multi time Wilderness Circuit Finals qualifier. You know that finals we've been talking about, the RMPRA? He's been there more than a handful of times as well. And he's on a roll again. He won a check in Bluffdale for a 10 second run, another check in Richfield. How about an 8 and 5 in Duchesne? Right now he's the number 11 man in the RMPRA and he didn't even get started until mid season. Justin Sherman's a cowboy, let's watch. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't you pay the cowboy off as he leaves? He's gonna leave with empty pockets, he can sure use a little love. Hey cameraman, if I'm in your way, you can move. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'll move. Big as that camera is, it'll probably shoot 
Yeah, yeah. We need to get some lights on at this arena. We need to get some lights on. No, I drank too much. Keep the lights on. <laughs> Let's go to the number one man in the standings right now. His name is Shane Hancock from Fount Green, just up the road. He's got a lead by only about a hundred dollars. He doesn't have any room to not win a check. He won Beaver, second into Willa, he won the same. Come on, let's go. Nice. We already got three late ties. Oh. That is not good, ladies and gentlemen. Not good at all. I don't think we need to go to the replay on this to explain what's going on. But remember I said you've got to gather up three legs? Well, if you've already got a pot, it's pretty hard to take them and gather them up. No time for Shane Cobb. What do you say? Wish him a little luck in the finals because I think he's pretty safe. Let's go to a man from Salem. Hey, Queen, you're like 20 minutes late. Just so you know. Take your crown away. <laughs> they had to do a wardrobe change, dude. Oh, you did? Like the same thing you wore yesterday. <laughs> They've got a whole bunch of them hanging in the closet. I know, that's where I got my hat and clothes. <laughs> Dallas Kemp's the man. <laughs> oh, well, he was in the clothes, seven. Yes, he was. And that's, and that's what they got to go for is seven and eight. That's what they've got to be. That's, and he'd be a seven and seven. That's pretty fast. Yes, it is. You don't see many sevens. Last night. I didn't see you after the derby. After the derby, I went home, sat on my deck over here at the camper, had a, little, had a bite to eat, went to chicken salad, and went to bed. And you? I walked around the business. You did? Yeah. What do they call I'm not up on all the lingo. Okay. What do they call them older women that, you know, younger guys like? What are them called? I, I think you're referring to cougars. A cougar, yeah. 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 But this one was, this was a lot older. That is Cougar? Yeah, and she couldn't hear very good. What do you call her? I have no idea. I call oh, her a <laughs> <laughs> You remember I talked about families? Well, here's another family right now, Otis Grant. I'll introduce you to his wife and sisters a little while later. We watched him in Dixie in February a year ago, make a 10 second run. He's won a chick and hire him at the Star Spangled Rodeo the end of July or June. Also for the Beaver about a month ago. The RPRA Rodeo there. South Jordan is where he calls home. Let's go, let's come on. There you go. Come on. Playing at the barrier. You know what? He's not going to be at the top of the leaderboard, but he's going to be at the pay whistle right now. What do you say? Are we good? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. A nine and one. Nine and one. He tied a six and a half second knot. A six and a half second knot. There you go. Barely. Maybe pull a little tighter next time, buddy. We pay down to the fourth hole. But right now, nine and one is number four. Let's go to Gates Hadley. Plain City is his hometown. He knows what it's like to be a champion. Two times, the 2015 and 2016 Utah High School Rodeo Champion, tied out Roper. Right now, he's number five in the standings in the RMPRA. Now remember, we've got that seven and eight at the top of the leaderboard, a seven and nine in second. An eight and two and a nine and one. Otis Grant can be bumped out of the pay window. Here we go. Oh, oh, but not by Gates Hadley tonight. Did you 
say your wife was here with you? Yeah, she come last night. She's after work. You didn't go get her? No. Made her drive herself? Yes. She's got a good looking truck, comfy truck. Probably more comfortable than mine. It's not going to hurt. Spending the company money, huh? <laughs> I left mine home this week. You did? Yeah, I usually take her everywhere. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want to have to kiss her goodbye. <laughs> no, she's pretty good looking. I got me one of them trophy wives. Yeah, yeah. trophy wife, eh? Yeah, she didn't get first place. Oh, oh, oh. Fifth or sixth out of seven. You're looking at the number 13 man in the standings. He's behind by only $400. Wow. He needs to make some money. Come on. There you go. <laughs> And it's going to be a 10 and 2, not quite enough to make a little money tonight. 10 and 2. Andrew, you got a few more rodeos to go. We're still an opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, wish this cowboy a little luck as well. We saw one camp already. We're going to watch another now. Connor camp. The first camp that didn't have any luck. We'll see what Connor could do. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
shoot number one, the Dale Cox contracts and shoot. Here's another young talent, traditionally a saddle bronc rider, but now he's riding both saddle broncs and bareback riders. He ended up number four, Utah High School Rodeo year end standings in 2021. The horse he's got tonight is Rosebud. The Dale Cox contracting shoot is where we're coming out of. All right, Byron Christiansen, Emory, Utah. Little town just over the mountain. Let's ride. further but we didn't quite. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys have a glove that they put on their hand and then they tape it on tight. That hand is probably a little too, that glove is probably a little too tight anyway and on it they've got a little bump and it wedges in that rigging. Alright, now watch him. He's going to open the gate. He's going to go out there. He's going to make his ride. Now watch as he comes off about right here. See, he comes off the wrong direction. Now, if you come off the wrong direction, there is no way you can get your hand out of that wedge. That's why he's hung up, and that's why we got our pickup man. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big round of applause. His arm is just a little longer tonight, and he'll live to ride again. Let's go to Danny Thompson. Out on Utah's where he calls home Sweet Dreams is the name of the horse that he's drawn tonight. But you probably were, you think you're cooler than me. You got design and shades just to hide Number 15 in the RMPRA standings. He's about $342 and some change out of the top 12. You know what? A check tonight. Would help in fact it could move him up in the top 12. We got a 75 and a 70 point ride on the leaderboard right now. All right, Daddy. Let's see what you can do. A plus electric is the shoot he's coming out of. shoot over there at the Christians and ready mix shoot. The rodeo for Utah Valley University he made his way to the CNFR. Ended up the number eight man in the world in 2019. Ended up number three in the Rocky Mountain region. But he's on a roll. If you were at Ridgeville down the road, you would have watched him make an 81 point ride. Second place check at Santa Cruz. Another second place check at Bluffdale. Redneck woman is the name of the horse that he's drawn tonight. All right, Dan and Derek, let's make some money. Come on.
I told you we had a 75 at the top of the leaderboard. Well, we've still got a 75 only with a tie. How about a 75 point ride for Terry Thompson? Gentlemen, unofficially, here's what we got at the top of the leaderboard. We've got a tie. First and second split between Derek Thompson and Ben Bohr. And in third place, only three qualifying drives, Ryan Jessen from Thursday night with a 70-point ride. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. There's your 2021 champions. I want to remind you all, to make sure that you look around the arena while you're sitting here tonight. To make a mental note of who all the sponsors are. If you have the opportunity to do so, I hope that you'll tell these business owners, the managers, thank you. Even better yet, why don't you go ahead and patronize these businesses? Because without any of these businesses, without these sponsors, none of this would happen. What are they doing out there? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you were here at the fairgrounds about a month ago, maybe two months ago, you would have watched a little company by the name of Live a Little Productions bring to you the Monster Truck Show. Well, it was so popular by the fair committee that they hired one of the monster trucks and his driver to stick around. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got him here tonight and his monster truck to perform for you. And I ain't gonna lie, I gotta tell you how much it's cost him. It's about $5,000 a performance. That's how much confidence that our fair has in this man. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Ricky Bobby Earnhardt Petty Waltrip the third. They said it's five thousand dollars if you bring your monster truck. I brought it. Yeah, I think that we had something else in mind. What a bigger monster! Truck. A bigger monster truck. So I can afford with three X Y. Uh, three X Y. Didn't learn my lesson. Yeah, yeah. Still happening. Yeah, yeah. So I come around, I wave the crowd, I pop the little baby a wheelie. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pretty sorry. Good. Is I that missed, good enough? I missed the memo. Our monster truck canceled on us. What? And it's no, looking it's here. to me like it's right here. Like Ricky Bob is trying to scrounge in on a little extra money. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? But what do I have to do to get money? Uh, you've got to jump that truck through a ring of fire. Oh, my a, ring ring, a ring of fire. Ring of fire, huh? Yes. I don't think these people want to see that. Oh wait. Hey! Zappy County, you want to see him jump that mini monster truck to a ring of fire? Well, uh, nobody over there does. No, yeah, yeah, that's what all that screaming was about. Right. They were saying no, right? Okay, hold on, let me look at this. What's there to look at, dude? 
Just do it. If you want the money, just do it. See, that's what my problem. That's why I have three ex-wives. Like, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> and don't even think about it. <laughs> Look what it got me. Yeah, yeah. If I hit that ramp at 32 mile an hour. Yeah. With the wind and humidity we have right now. Yeah. I might be able to jump maybe a foot farther than that. Uh huh. But that, that's max. Yeah, that's probably max. So I think you got it pretty good with it right there. I think you ought to move it further. What do you think, Sappy County? Further out? You know, I have a wife and children, I think. And three ex-wives, apparently. I got two. I'm working on three. Oh. oh. Okay, you got to tell me when to stop. And please make it fast. Okay, ready? I'm waiting. Um, okay. I think you better go a little further. Grab that pango and knock it over. Come on, people. I got wife, kids, child support, alimony. <laughs> right there. It, will that make you happy? <laughs> That's a lot farther than I want to jump. Yeah, that looks like a long ways. I want to ask you something here. If what? you don't make two things. If what? If you don't make it through the fire and you crash, yeah. What do we do with the body? And second of all, do you really need the money? And can I have it? No, you can't. I can't. I don't even get that money. <laughs> Everybody else does. Oh, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, let's light it up. Hold on first. I need protection. You know, Tom Dykes and Sheriff. If I would have thought about this years ago, I wouldn't have all that child support. Yeah. Tom Dykes Insurance is one of our sponsors. You want a quick minute to go talk to him? Who is it? Tom Dykes Insurance. No, get that ambulance fired up. <laughs> oh. oh. No, that ain't what I had planned. At all. Hey. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, here's what we're going to do. Yes, We're going to pick up that ramp and move it closer. <laughs> <laughs> Them flames are awfully big. Oh, oh they'll be all right. Big. Let's see what you can do. Are you guys ready? All right, play my theme song. I'm going to do one lap, and if everybody ain't making noise, I'm done. All right, you heard the man. you got to make some noise. <laughs> because there's a lot of money being made and ladies break away open right now. 
And I'll tell you what, some of these ladies are fast. I mean, we're talking really fast. I mean, we're talking, Shady King has the fast time for the rodeo right now with a two and six. Now these ladies, they don't have to. These ladies don't have to get up, tie the horse. Well, never mind. I was gonna say, these ladies don't have to get up and tie the calf down instead. That rope is tied to the saddle horn with a cotton string. If the ladies catch, put tension on that string. It breaks. Time stops and the tail of the rope passes the shoulder of the horn. And that lady right there was Katie Grant. It's going to be an old time. Old time. Let's go to Sonora Thomas. Right now, Shaylee King has a two and six at the top of the leaderboard. It's three and nine, four and two, and four and four. This is what the top fours are right now. You know what, that was just a little bad luck, right there. Notice when the rope did the loop, it go over the nose of the calf. That is not a qualified run, it'll be no time. No time for Snora. Let's go to Lindsey Rock. She's a no, she's gonna be a T-O. Let's go to Darcy Grant. Remember Otis Grant? In the tie down rope. Well, this is his wife right here, West York, where they call home. That little Palomino horse that she's on. They call him Brahma. He's only about five years old. She's trained him from when he was a coach. You know this lady, she's also got a master's degree in microbiology. All right, Darcy. There we go. Oh. Hey, uh, we got the Kyle Ford dog. Really, you give it to me? No time for Darcy Grant. Let's go to Marky Belliston. I can't be riding up behind it like that. It scares me. You see, now y'all come. Are, are, are you a little paranoid or what, Scott? I used to ride bulls, fight bulls. Yeah. And I'm really mouthy with my wife, so I'm, I'm used to getting hit. <laughs> so if I see a shadow, I'm done. Yeah, I can understand why. No, you have no idea how bad I am. All right, Marquis. be the world's ugliest rodeo queen right here. That guy. Where's your crown? <laughs> and it is a no, no time. You see all them queens look at me when I said that? I'm like, which one are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Your horse is doing better today. You want me to scare him again? Okay. Desensitized after, after Thursday night. Get this guy. What's that? Get this guy a sassy. A sassy? What would we call him? <laughs> Prince. Prince Sampi. Prince Sampi, yeah. Let's go to Shelly Wynn, Annabelle. Of course she calls home. She's a nurse. She works for Severe School District. You know what? Her family is full of ropers. Come on, Shelly. There you go. Hey. Woo. Woo there you go. Well, we got a new second place. What do you think? It's three and three.
Is it somebody's birthday out here? Huh? Somebody's birthday. And how old are you, Miss First Attendant Lady? Fourteen! Fourteen years old, huh? That's well. Uh, yeah, you're Mentally. well, right. What do you say? We wish her a happy birthday, everybody. How about everybody saying her happy birthday? Well, you have to say happy birthday. What's first attendant? That means you're the first one. Right? Okay, everybody, happy birthday, first loser. I didn't get it. I'll call you first attendant. We won't say. I'll bake you a cake and an easy bake oven in my trailer. I have an easy bake oven in my trailer. An easy, you do. I do. It makes a little cupcakes and brownies. I thought it'd be funny. Haley Wright, Aurora. Uh, no time. I don't even remember when I was 14. That's kind of, kind of why I run, run for office. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I guarantee I can do better than what we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, you know, they always dig into your past all the time. Uh-huh. I kind of want to know what I did from 1990 to 93. Because <laughs> it's a total black area. It, it's kind of like for those who were born in the 60s, right? I was born in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so was I. Barely. Celia Grant Myers, another one of the Grant family right here, ladies and gentlemen. She's kind of on a roll as well. We watched her in August in January, make a two-point three-second run for a check. Again in Lake Town just last weekend with a two at the four. Oh, that's smoking. Oh, yeah, that's smoking. So has the has like your outlook on life changed since you got older? Yes, it has. It has. I never thought mine did, but right now I just try to think about the positive in any situation. That's all you could do, buddy. Yeah. Like this morning I fell down. Yeah. Instead of getting mad. Yeah. I just said, hey, that's the fastest I've moved in five years. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a bright side. Always the bright side. So you can have fun. Boom! Yes! Uh -oh. I don't see anything on this wall. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that was fast, but it wasn't a qualified run. He's not going to get a time on the board. What do you say? You got to do anything in the stands to get the lady. Let's go to the Kenzie Newman. So do we, I hear we have a bunch of nurses up here. I hurt my hand on the monster truck. I need medical attention. Uh -huh. Where are them nurses at? Oh, there they are. I see you. There, uh oh, this is I need, I need more medical help. <laughs> Someone give me a step stool. Come on, Lance McKenzie. Where's the nurse at? That one? Where's the other one at? That's a nurse? We've got a three and three for Mackenzie Newman. Three and three on the board. Just went to second and third. Right now with Shelly Wynn. One to go. Are you taking pictures without my permission, lady? Holly Bradshaw is the lady's name. The one that's kind of rolled, not the one taking the picture. Yeah, I turn it the other way. Damn that's it. how selfies work. Oh, hey, five bucks. Oh, hell yeah. Five dollars for pictures. Ten bucks for Instagram. Oh, oh yes. 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 I thought it was a good 
deal. And it is three and four. I got plenty of medical attention. You need medical attention? Yeah, I do. I hurt myself. You were bleeding. You are bleeding? What would you do about that? Okay, do you have one? You're not a very good nurse. Don't you guys carry stuff with you? You like my pretty jersey? I really feel that. What kind of material does that feel like? That's boyfriend material. <laughs> you can use that one. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the unofficial result from the breakaway war goal from Shady King for Thursday night. Runs it with the two on six, but tonight, everything changes. We've got in second and third, we've got a pair of three and three. And in fourth place, a three and four for Holly Bradshaw. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. Okay. That nurse didn't have a band-aid, I need more. Yeah. All these nurses here, no, none of you carry a medical kit. Well Sean, let's go back over here to the bucket chute for the classic event of rodeo. It's called Saddle Bronc Ride. Hey nurse, a four-year-old girl had a medical kit. Okay? I think you just lost your job. Hey, how old are you, five? You're eight. Eight. Ten years, you're out of a job. If you're around, if you're around over a hundred years ago, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the events you would have seen at one of the very first rodeo, and we're going to watch it at the Sandy County Fair, Far Bureau Two. The Cowboys name is Kelvin Good, right? Now he's the number three man in the standing. Well, how'd he get there? Well, you gotta check him out, Chris, and another check for a 70 point ride at Draper. Again, in Fairview, he won it with a 71. How about a 77 in Bluffdale? Again, a 76 in Santa Quinn. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think he can do on a Saturday night in San Pete County? Now, let me tell you. The horse he's drawn tonight is a horse by the name of Fancy. If you were here on Thursday night, you would watch Shelly Kelly Short ride this bull for her horse for 72, 82 points. I really messed that up. One more time, Kelly Short broke this horse for second place on Thursday night for 82 points. What's that tell you? Did a good cowboy if he can ride and put on a ride, a lot of spur, a lot of timing, a lot of control. He can go straight to the top of the leaderboard. Alright, kill the good. Let's do it. That's your dad's birthday? He's pretty old, ain't he? Did you buy him anything? I didn't either. How old is your dad? 112? He's older than your mom? How old is your mom? Oh, you ain't supposed to ask women that. All right, Kelvin. No fancy. He's not one to stand quite right. I don't stand quite right either. He didn't announce that. Here we go. Come out. Cowboy in the fourth hole. That's the pay window time, 74. All right. 
We're gonna go to the cowboy by the name of Statler right next. You may have heard this name. Yeah, he's one of the legendary Wright family. Well, hello there. From Milford, Utah. And the horse he's drawn tonight yes. is Kicker Bird. I'm a, I'm a cowboy guy. What is a cowboy? A cow guy. 2021 Utah High School Rodeo Year End Champion. He ended up number 11 in the world in the National High School Rodeo Finals in 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, right now he is the number one man in the standing to the Rocky Mountain Pro Rodeo Association. He's got a lead of about $2,000. Now you remember on Thursday night, the 84 point ride made by Hayes Matson. Well, this is the same horse, ladies and gentlemen. You want to go to the A-plus electric shoot? That's where you want to watch. Let's ride, come on! to the screen and watch this right here. Look at it, spur to the front. That horse rears back up. He kind of takes him off time, but doesn't take him long to get back in time. And you know what? It was one heck of a ride, well worth it. What are you gonna say to an 87 horse? Go down to the Christians and Ready Mix Shoot. To a man by the name of Rowdy Stone, West Weaver. And a horse by the name of BB Gun. BB Gun? BB Gun. That don't sound very bad. This cowboy, he knows all about what it's like to rodeo, to be a professional rodeo cowboy. His dad was the 2001 and 2002 World Champion Bull Rider. Now, this is a man that right here is on the bubble. He's about $28 into 12. Come on. Yes, sir, that is so. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rick Madsen rode this same horse on Thursday night for a 78-point ride. Let's see what our judges do for him tonight, but in the meantime, you got something to give the Cowboys that beat count? How long have you been married? It's going to be a 69 point ride for Rowdy Stone. 69. I've been married for eight years. Eight years? Yes, sir. And uh, I guess I'm married advice from you. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm not the one to give advice, I'll guarantee you that. Are you still married? I'm still married. I can try to get advice from you. The <laughs> only reason I'm going home tomorrow is to see if I still live there. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Let's go to Tyson Wilson. Payson is his hometown. Saddle Tramp is the name of the horse that got loaded in the i Media shoot. Right now, number 11. Here's one of the Cowboys that can't afford to not make some money tonight. Here we go, help him out, Sappy Cowboy! Yeah! Oh. 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 You remember that whole silly rule that the Cowboys have got to ride for eight seconds, one hand in the air? Well, he didn't get it done. It's going to be a 
It's the Jones and DeMille Shoot, and we're watching. Number seven in the RNPRA right now, number four in the oh, 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 Silver. Number eight, man! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. The man, That was the coolest rare out of the shoot I've seen. Oh, there. yeah. Let's watch it as he comes out of the shoot, ladies and gentlemen, so you can see what Stets is talking about. He comes out, check that out. Yeah! Oh, oh, yes. And notice how he holds the mark out. If you're not familiar with what a mark out was, the cowboy's chest and boots and spurs have got to be in front of his shoulders. When the horse breaks the plane of that shoot, you notice how he held it there. We'll see what our judges want to say about that. It's gonna be a 72 point ride, 72 point ride. You guys can boo the judges if you want. You bought a ticket. You can do whatever, it's America for a little bit longer. <laughs> Next year you're gonna do what you're told. Let's go up to the Dale Cox contracting shoot. To Cooper James, to Willa. I work by the name of Tiny Tom. You know, we watched this cowboy in the bull riding a little while ago. Number seven, he ended up at the Utah High School Rodeo standings in 2021. Right now, he's number nine in the standings of the Rocky Mountain Professional Rodeo Association. You're probably looking at an all-around cowboy contender right here. All right, Cooper. Cooper. 87 at the top of the leaderboard and 84 in second. The horse is either sitting down or he's riding a Shetland pony. I can't tell. <laughs> well, his name's Tiny Tuck. Come on, yeah. yeah. Get feet moving. There you go. Play again. I want you to watch just exactly what Seth was talking about when he said get your feet from the cowboy. You watch it. Look at him right here. To the front. To the front again. To the front again. That's what it's all about right there. And it's looking like he may make it to the pay window with an 80 point ride.
I ever worked in the Derby. Was it? And it was awesome. There, it's kind of a rush, ain't it, buddy? It's cool. It's yes, loud. it is. It's loud. Now when the wife says I don't listen, I have an excuse. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have her call Jill. Yeah, I might. And Jill's going to explain why I can't hear anymore. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I'm not sure I would trust you. She might come up with some other excuse. Hey, Jill, I got invited to go raise a ride with you tomorrow. By a hot girl up there. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back down to the top event of the, the end of the arena for the only, well, no, I'm going to say that again, for the big man's event of rodeo. Guys, grab your ladies, because these guys will steal them. It's called steer wrestling. Them guys would rather have a sandwich than a girl. <laughs> they ain't going to steal enough to put your funnel Yeah, why do you think we call them the big guys of rodeo? You know, that used to be true, but now they're not that big. No, they're just ripped. No, they're just candy. <laughs> it's all about technique now. Yes, it's all about technique. A lot of I know. I, don't, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I fell off my donkey at a parade last week, and it hurt. It hurt. And he wasn't running 30 miles an hour. Well, let, let's go to our first man out is Jake Ashworth. PRCA, we're on a circuit cowboy, also an RNPRA cowboy. Ended up number four right now in the standings of the wilderness circuit in the PRCA. We've got an eight, eight and four at the top of the leaderboard right now. Funnel cake and hot candy. There is no money going to go to sleep tonight. Uh, no, there is not. Not going to be a waste all night long. All right, Jake. If you're not familiar with steer wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, the guy you want to watch is the guy over there. This guy's just the hazers. Come on! Whoa! <laughs> uh -oh. You know, when you said the guy over there, I don't think they still know who you are. Yeah, that's probably not right. Because there's a lot of over there. Over here, huh? Okay. The guy you want, that I, when I mean over there, I mean over there by Dutch on that side. That still didn't make a lot of sense, did it? How about the guy in the north box? The guy in the south box? I don't know which way is north and south. <laughs> I, I give up. I give up. So do you cook or do your wife? My wife cooks. She does? Yes, she does. She ever complain about it? About cooking? Yeah. Yeah, but I can't say as I blame her. Why? Cooking is hot. Miserable work, dude. Ain't that bad. Not that I've ever done. <laughs> she was complaining the other night. She was making something pretty good. Yeah. On the other night, like last month. Last yeah. Year. But she said, why are onions only food that will make me cry? I like they're not. Well, yeah, onions. That's it. That's it? I bet her $100 or more food that will make her cry. And? I threw a coconut at her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All that life is interesting at your house, Dutch. He must like that horse better than what he had. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go to Zach Trap. This was a song at her wedding. This was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the way out. Last time we was here in this arena was 2019. You want to watch this cowboy take a 5 and 7, 5.7 second run for a second place check. In 2020, he ended up the number 10 man in the PRCA Wilderness Circuit standings. Had the opportunity to go up there. He was seated for the Wilderness Circuit final. Here we go. There you go. Oh. Did you guys ever watch your wedding video or anything? No, in fact, we didn't even have a wedding video. Oh? We had wedding pictures, but not a video. We had a wedding video. I watch it like weekly. You do? I do. I get emotional. You do? Yeah, because I watch it in reverse. 
So all I do is kiss her goodbye. I do the moonwalk out of the church, hop in my truck and leave. And leave? Uh-huh. In reverse all the way. It right? makes me cry every time I watch it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dawson Stewart, the number one man at the RPRA right now. What's this? Yeah! There we go. Remember, we had an eight and four at the top of the leaderboard. And then one once at the Cowboys Thursday night, I wasn't sure he was going to get that beat. And you know what? We got a beat tonight with a five, four, nine, second run. We got one left to go. And his name is Kent Voss. Enterprise is where he calls home. Right now, the number eight man at the RMPRA. He's kind of safe. We can sure stand to use a little gas money. We've got a five and nine at the top of the leaderboard at eight and four in second place right now. Officially, Dawson Stewart wins it with a 5.9 second run. What do you say, Irving? Give the man a big. You said me. Give the Irving man a big round of applause. I got a little ahead of myself there. There you'll have that. up until the 19th century. Also known as the pure Spanish horse, the Andalusian is a horse breed from the Spanish region, region of the Andalusian, where its ancestors have lived for thousands of years. And throughout history, it has been known for its prowess as a war horse and was prized by the kings, the wealthy, and the conquerors of Europe. During the 19th century, Warfare, disease, and crossbreeding reduced their numbers dramatically, in fact, so badly that exports from the Andalusians from Spain were restricted until the 1960s. But now, ladies and gentlemen, the breed has spread throughout the world. Friends, I could stand here all night and tell you about the qualities of the Andalusian. But I think it's better off for you to watch and judge for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, from Young Living Essential Oils, Felix Santana and the Andalusian Stallion Romano. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you this. The more involvement from the audience, the more action we will see from this horse. So don't be afraid to clap your hands, stomp your feet, make some noise.
so, but he's only been working with you for about five years. And everything this horse knows, he's learned from Phoenix. of this horse, the agility and the style. It's no wonder that this horse is the horse of the nobility. Get some rhythm going. The more you do it, the more this horse will move. the right night to be here. We got a lot of the top guys. 
in the lineup tonight. And the team you're going to start with is Casey Thomas. Yeah, Miranda, come on, boys, let's do this. You got the number 11 man on the header side, the number two man on the heater side. It's no wonder they're going to leave here with a check right now, ladies and gentlemen. In second place, a 7-0, 7 and oh, seven and zero. All right, let's go to Dylan Watterson on the header side. Wyatt Davis on the heater side. Yes, we got it on the head. Put it on. Oh. Well, you won't stop. No time for Waterson and Davis. No time. Who you talking to? Oh, I'll bet you money. No matter. Well, we started the team over tonight with the number 11 man on the header side, the number two man at the standings on the inner side. Or well, third team out, Dallin Wade. Right now, he's number five on the hitter side. Cody Young on the heater side is number four in the standings. Ooh. You know, if you went by the average, that's a pretty good average right there. Oh, man. Sorry I've been gone. I was talking to Cobble. What did you do now? I didn't do nothing. Uh-huh. He come up and said that my dog was chasing people on bikes. Yeah. I said, no, he wasn't. My dog was not have a ride of mine. <laughs> How did that go over? Not very well. <laughs> what do you do all day today? No, so we went up to the farmer's market up here and got some groceries. Did you? Yeah, we did. We got some corn, some peaches, some strawberries. I'll move when they ride in the All right. We also went over here to the cattleman's steak fry. That was awesome. Thanks, Mike and Amanda, for getting for lunch today, by the way. Dallas Wicks, Cody O. Oh. No time. I went up to Dollar General today or whatever it is. Yeah. They had a pretty good sale. Oh really? What you yeah. buy? I bought a 25 piece camping set for twelve dollars. A 25? What did it have in it? A case of beer and a folding chair. <laughs> oh. Well this team right here, Case and Lynn, is the header. You know the standings we've been talking about all night long. He's number 13. He's about $91 out of the number 12 hole. Oh. Jake Freeland is healing for him. He's number 7 in the stack. Another one of them man. Or another one of them teams. They've got to make some money tonight. Uh, just one of them. Uh, just one of them. How would you hate? How would how would you like to be Jay? Going to the center. Like like never know. Needs that chick to get to the final. At least they don't have to win first. Yeah, yeah. Ninety one bucks. I can I can loan him ninety dollars. You come and talk to Ben German and see if you can do that. Put that ninety one dollars on his on his on his on his ring. You know, speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a bunch of raffle tickets to support the Junior Lifestyle Auction, you need to get it done now because we're going to be drawing for them pretty quick. All right, win it, Freeland. We got it on the head. Boom. Oh, he had him. He had him. Oh. I don't know if we've got the replay on that or not. Nope. Nope, doesn't look like we do. Uh, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, Sanford County, you saw it with your own eyes. They had it. They lost it. They could use a little bit of encouragement from the stand. All right, here we go. See, we got it on the head. We're just going to turn them. 
And he's gonna put it right there on the heels. He had a boat. Oh. Let's go to Justin Bowden on the hitter's side and Wyatt Thomas on the hitter's side. You know about the only good thing that happened last year with the whole coach stuff? What was it? None of the door knockers came to your house trying to sell yourself. Yeah, that was a good thing. I hadn't thought about that. There is a silver lining. And that is exactly when I knew it was over. What was it? People knocking on my door. Did you donate for the new swimming pool? I did too. I gave them a glass of water. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Everybody's got to do their part. I know. No time for Bob to Thomas, no time. I might find the right for a shuttle in a little town. I think this is like the most pop I've ever seen at a rodeo. You, you've been saying that all week long. They don't leave. It's a good rodeo. It was a good derby. They want to be here with everybody else. Maybe they heard about me. Yeah, that's probably right, really. All them, all them cool cats you got. Yeah, all my money. <laughs> hey, hey, Copper, I just make fun of alcohol. I don't drink. <laughs> McCray McCray Fillmore on the header side, Ian Fillmore on the heater side. There we go. Oh, and he holds it. Yep. Eight and eight plus ten. Eight is eight plus ten. Dang good. Eighteen and eight, including. Let's go to Dallas Camp, Clint White. Dallin Clint Camp is number six. The club is the on the header side, of the sand bar is where I play white. On the heater side. And my friends at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and we talk slow. Come on over and start up a conversation with just me. And trust me, I give it a chance. Take my hand, stop the book, and a man in the jukebox. Then we start to dance, and now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. We got six and five in the top of the wall, seven and oh. There we go. Oh. 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 I have no idea how he caught that head. No time. I had another knock on the door after the swim pool. They wanted me to donate clothes and food to feed the hungry. Yeah. I was like, well, if they can fit my clothes, they're not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I got chubby when COVID hit. Ugh, That's why I, they called it COVID-19. I think everybody gained 19 pounds. I, I, I think everybody did. I got so chubby, I went on a diet. Uh -huh. I wasn't getting enough to eat, so I went on another diet. Two <laughs> diets at once. Yeah, they ought to work double time, huh? You would think that, but it don't work that way. Double or nothing. Let's go to Jay Crud, CJ Crud. See, now everybody for wants to dance. Yeah, yeah. They're jealous of Omar Romano. Yeah, they are. So I can dance too. That was pretty cool. You gotta admit, I don't care who you are. We got it on the head, turn it board, put it on the heels. There we go. Ah, we got it caught. We only caught one heel, so that's a five second penalty. It'll be nine and eight plus five, nine and eight plus five. You know, Stutz, we was talking about averages a little while ago. Well, right now, Brian Wynn, 
He's the guy back in the header side of that box down there. He's the number three man in the standing. He looks for him as Matt Liston. Also the number three man in the average. Or in the standing. That's a pretty good average right there. Ryan Wynn, Matt Liston. The boys, Ducks put the pressure off at six and five. Is what you've got to be. What do they got to be? Six and five. Cool. To move to the top. Seven and oh is in second place right now. They might get it. They might. Come on, help them. Two on my watch. An eight and two. Well, you're a little bit off. They're going to be in the second hole with a six and nine. Six and nine. Hey, you remember watching Dawson Stewart and Steer Wrestling? You won it. No, I don't. All right. Yeah, you were off talking to the cops. I forget that. Well, Zach Harrell. It's uh, on the hitter side. But that Dawson Stewart, the one that checked it, the steer rest a few moments ago, is on the heater side, right here. You also forgot that I don't listen so well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Your head's still ringing from last night, right? They are. You didn't yell that by the wire. <laughs> it wasn't the derby. It was from the phone call. No, them derbies are loud. All right, Zach, Dawson, if you want to get to the team, everyone wants to dance. Yeah. Good yeah. job, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Everything these horses have learned, they learn from singing or Santana. Uh, no time for Harold and Stewart, no time. Well, we didn't see your leaderboard change tonight, ladies and gentlemen, at the top, but we did in second. Put your hands together for win and listen with a six and nine. They're going to take home the second place check. Casey Thomas, Gal Miranda with a seven and oh in third. Good job, Queen. Hey, why you guys are playing the arena? You won't pick that up? I got new shoes on. And you know what? My new shoes. Not one person asked if I could run fast in my new shoes today. As you well know, the Junior Livestock Show was going on over here during the fair. And you know what? Right now, more than ever, probably, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to learn the importance of our 4-H and FFA programs as our nation becomes more urban and less rural. That's why it is important for these programs to keep going on. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you tonight the champions of our Junior Livestock Show as they come into the arena, ladies and gentlemen. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner of your grand champion hole is Kofi Wright. We're going to get the pictures of their animals up here. There we go. The grand champion of the ho in the hog division is Josie Wright. Reserve champion hog was shown by Bodie Wright. In the lamb department, your grand champion lamb was Court Sorensen. Reserve champion lamb shown by Wyatt Mann. The bread and old lamb champion was Paige Ott. Bread and old lamb. Reserve champion was Jason Shaw. Your grand champion market gold was shown by Josie Wade. The reserve market goat, shown by Cody Wright. Your Brent Noel champion goat 
shown by Josie Wright, your brand new reserve goat, shown by Bodie Wright as well. And into the steer department, your grand champion market steer. Shown by N Nicole Off. And ladies and gentlemen, it's her birthday today. Wish her a big happy birthday. And your reserve champion beat was shown by Bodie Wright. The Brent Old Champion Beat shown by Gentry Rigby. The Brent Old Reserve Champion Beat shown by Camry Baker. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. These are your 2021 Junior Market Show Champions out there in the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, if you bought in on the raffle, you're going to want to pay attention right now. They've drawn for the for the raffle that supports the Junior Livestock Show. Winning half a beef is Yvonne Wilton. Winning another half a beef is Heather Argo. And the fourth goes to Scott Mexton. Thanks guys for your support. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause if you would. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the fastest and prettiest event in rodeo. It's called Ladies Barrel Racing, and I'll tell you what, this is how fast it is. On Thursday night, we seen a run of a 17.950 from Cheyenne Fredrickson. That's the time that these ladies have got to be tonight to take the big check. And we're going to start with Caitlin White, Spanish Fourth Utah. Nineteen point one four five. 
From Elkridge, Utah, this lady, she rodeoed for USU Eastern in 2020 and 21. She ended up the number three lady in the Rocky Mountain region standings of college rodeo. Ended up number 16 in the world. She's on the bubble, number 12 in the RNPRA. Ladies and gentlemen, Autumn Snyder. All right, Autumn. Santa Steven Pace in Utah. You know, looking at it, that 17 and 9 might be a little hard to beat. Can you notice we measure right down to the one thousandth of a second? Alright, come on, Shanna. Gentlemen, I thought that run was a little slow, but our official clock says 17.75. We got a new leader right there. That just goes to show you what smooth and consistent does. All right, let's go to Debris Free, Early Utah. Let's go to Darcy Grant. And she's right, one of my favorite horses. His name is Bo. This blue horse is cool. Let's ride. Now. A lady by the name of Sierra Terry. That'll be a plus five. That was the core can at the holiday. Seventeen nine four five plus five. Seventeen nine four five plus five. All right, Sarah Lady, up next. Oh. Zero. 
we're down to one. Her name is Aubrey Baxter. Cash Valley, Utah. Well, Cash Valley Region. I don't know what you'd call that. What would you call that? Up in the cold country. We're going to move to our rolling of royalty. We're going to run tonight. And we're going to start with Kenley Kelso. You're coming in Francis right there, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of wine up that there, there. Alright, let's go to Brianna Brotherson. One of your attendants, a junior princess attendants. First attendant. Second call. For Brianna Brotherson. That'll be a third call for Brianna Brotherson. That'll be that'll be a turnout. Oh, she's coming. Oh, all right. She was coming in a different gate. in the barrel race and it was Shanna Stevens pacing Cowgirl with a 17.753. Ladies and gentlemen, you got a little something you can give the Cowgirl. Some hand clapping music. You can do that. Yeah, she can get a she you bet you we can do that. Yeah, come on, everybody oh, clap. Yeah. Come on.
We need our EMTs over here real quick. EMTs, we need you. Gentlemen, in rodeo, each and every one of us knows and understands when we pay them entry fees that there's a risk in what we do. But you know what? We love it so much that we're willing to take that risk. You know, that might be something that we want to learn a lot of us. Instead of being in fear of living, ladies and gentlemen, we ought to be scared of not living life. Our EFT is down here. We're going to work on Cody. We're going to make sure everything is exactly right. Get him taken care of. Hey, Utah, you guys been having fun tonight? Let me hear you. I'd like to move here. It's gorgeous out here. Oh, isn't it though? Beautiful. I just have to find me a shirter moment. <laughs> I don't like to work. It is dumb. Not for me. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty valley. One of the prettiest in the state, I would say. I didn't know we called it a valley. A valley. Where you're from, they don't have valleys. They have coolies, right? We don't have hills. <laughs> we have corn. You beans, have corn. Corn, beans, and cows. That's it. Right on. Right on. And not near as pretty women as you guys do. Really? No. Really. I can't even call my sugar mom anymore. Why? Well, you have to be politically correct. You yeah, yeah. You can't designate it that, so I made up a new name. What is it? Glucose Guardian. A Glucose Guardian. He's up, He's yeah! He's up, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> hey, somebody grab him. Casey Levin. Soul Stripper is the boom. Shoot number two, the Jones and DeMille shoot. right on the board before the night is over. Yeah, you're getting on one. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? Can we give the Cowboys something to, to pump him up? Come on, buddy. You ride the boat, you're taking home a whole bunch of money. A whole bunch of money. A whole bunch. Well, you can see him on the big screen, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to get everything just about right. You've seen these bulls buck two nights now, ladies and gentlemen. You want to make sure that you can get everything right, especially when you know there's about two grand laying out there on the arena floor to win. All you got to do is cover one. 
It looks like we're going to change sides now. No, I'm still on the cowboy side. Yeah. <laughs> you can switch teams if you want. I was made in sides of the announcer stand. Oh, yeah, I know. Why do you gotta be that way? I don't know, I do. It just is. <laughs> Explains why I was in detention most of my high school years. <laughs> Let's go to shoot number one, the Dale Cox contracting shoot. In the bedroom of all the bull riders we're going to watch tonight, his name is Ben McPherson. You talk. Come on. Come on. Let's ride. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Knock that off. You won't see me angry <laughs> or scared. <laughs> or scared. Because now it smells in here. It smells like a five day old porta pot. Let's go to shoot number two, Jones and DeMille. I don't like big white bulls. I just don't. You don't like big white bulls? No, the white ones are always meat. Ah. They always have the biggest horns. You know, this is Charlay country. You ought to be careful. That ain't a Charlay. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a Charlay. If it's a Charlay, somebody's paying way too much for it. Another place. Or bought it when they were drinking. <laughs> we're going to go to Owen Reiner. I a bull by the name of Jimmy Cricket. Jimmy. Come on, Utah. You want to see a bull ride? We got to get loud. Hey, hey, back off, dude. Oh, yeah. He wasn't mean, but look at the baseball bat on his head. And we're down to one. Remember I told you about that $2,000? Well, here's how that works. Spots? Sponsors? Do you know how it works? <laughs> Each of these cowboys pay to play. And that money is put in a pot along with the sponsor money. Now here's how this works. If there's not four qualified rides in the bull ride, that money goes to the only qualified rides there are. So right now, if he rides, there's only one qualified ride for the rodeo. He's going to get the whole purse, and that purse is worth over two grand. And I'll tell you what, to a cowboy, that can be moving straight to the top of the leaderboard in the standings of the RMPRA. And the cowboy we've got on this bull right here, his name is Trace Red, you win a Utah. And a bull by the name of Highway to Hell, 2021 Utah High School Rodeo Reserve Champion bull rider right here. Right now, he's currently number five in the standings of the Rocky Mount Pro Rodeo Association. Come on, Utah! It's going to be a no score, no score for Trace Red. Broken Heart Rodeo Company, Ben German and his family. Also, the Sappy County Fair at the committee. We want to thank you all for coming. And I ask you one more time, ladies and gentlemen, on your way out, please make a mental note of who all the sponsors were and tell them thank you. And also, tonight as you kneel down, say prayers before your God. Thank you for this country and ask him for guidance. And also for real comfort for those families and the soldiers that we just lost. As you leave here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, one last thought. You know, 
When we all finally step up to that last pay window, it's not going to matter whether we've won or lost, but how we made the ride. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Be safe, and most of all, be legendary.